hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you have your coffee whatever you know snack of your choice because today we're getting into empties <laughs> so this is technically my last empties of 2019 but y'all are going to be seeing this in 2020 so you know whatevs <laughs> had to work with what i had so yeah if you guys are new here um and you have not seen an empties video Empties are just like basically me showing you guys my trash. So all the beauty products, hair care, skin care, makeup. Um, I also throw in like home fragrance, candles, wallflowers, stuff like that. Um, just so you guys can know what I'm loving, what I would repurchase, what I would not repurchase. It's a great way for me to stay accountable and to also keep track of like what I would actually buy. Wow, you really gonna get... <laughs> She takes her loving so seriously. Yeah, I love you too. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Well, without further ado, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm going to start off with some skincare first. These are not completely empty yet, but these are almost all empty. <laughs> so, um, Urban Skin RX. Y'all know Urban Skin RX is bae. Um, I have the Even Tone Cleansing Bar. This is one that I'm almost through. This is going to be like tonight and tomorrow morning. So that's what it looks like. It's an actual cleansing bar. Um, and this one is a three-in-one treatment to brighten and improve uneven skin tone. If you have, if you're curious about this, I use this in my current morning skincare routine. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it up above. Um, this is like my favorite cleanser of all time. I don't think I've ever used a cleanser as consistently as I have used this. I think the closest that I've gotten to is the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin, um, the gel wash, not the cream, the gel wash. Um, that one's really nice too, but this one, y'all could see in that video, like, I got a great lather with this. It cleans the skin, but it also leaves my skin with a glow. It doesn't dry my skin out, um, and I think that's a big part of why my texture you know I don't have a lot of texture um and I do always have that like glowy appearance because I'm starting off with a base that doesn't completely strip my skin um I also went through the combination skin cleansing bar a little while ago this one focuses on anti-aging smoothing and hydrating this is a really good one if you are like super duper dry if you are a very dry individual this is a great one to have because it really does help to hydrate the skin um it definitely you can feel the differences but it's kind of hard to explain i feel like this is a little bit deeper of a cleanse they both give you the same foaming action they do smell a little different too, and the color of this is a little different. This one really softens up the skin, leaves the skin really plump. This is a really great one too. I love the um, combination skin bar as well, especially during days when I am just really dry. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes, you know, hormonal medication can make your skin do weird things. Sometimes I get really dry and um, I wish I had this one instead of this, but for the most part, it's this one that I love. So I absolutely love this. Of course, it's a repurchase. I have another one on the way in an Urban Skin order. I love I love that I'm so close to their headquarters because, you know, they're in Charlotte and I'm in Winston. So it takes nothing for me to order my skincare and it shows up to my door. <laughs> I have literally one more night's use of the Dark Spot Rapid Repair Retinol Treatment. Um, this is supposed to help improve uneven skin tone and blemishes. This has kojic acid and niacinamide as well as retinol. And I've, I've tried quite a few retinols. This is my favorite and I think this is the most fast acting. If you have very sensitive skin, I will warn you when you start using this, you will probably peel. Um, and from time to time, I will also peel. But I love this because it really focuses on the dark marks. I mean, if I can grab some clips or I think I took some pictures, I don't know what I did with them, of how my skin was looking in the dark areas here um, and here and here. If I can find those, I will insert them because it's such a drastic difference. 
And the biggest part that I notice is that I, I don't wear as much makeup. When I do wear makeup, I don't have to cover as much to get really beautiful, um, you know, like a flawless finish because I don't have as much discoloration. This works pretty fast, um, but you do have to put the work in though. If you have very old acne scars, it's going to take longer to get them, you know, to really get everything resurfaced. And depending on how deep they are um, and how old they are, you may need something stronger than a topical. You may need an appointment with an esthetician. But this is awesome. It smooths onto the skin. It's a really nice cream. It just, when I'm not using this, I know. Just period. And when it comes down to that, if I take it out of my routine and I miss it, I know that I gotta have it. So I love this. And for a retinol, it's not expensive at all. Love this stuff. And I'm also down to my last couple of days of Even Tone Super Glow Serum. This is a 10% LAA and Kojic Acid. This also was really great for brightening the skin, um, dark marks, hyper hyperpigmentation. I also find that this does add some extra moisture back into my skin too. I also showed this in my morning skincare routine, so I did feature this. This is one of the few vitamin C serums that I can use. A lot of vitamin Cs break me out. This one does not. It just leaves my skin glowy, plump, soft. This has also worked to help with the dark marks and hyperpigmentation that I have had as well. I also like the way, um, I kind of feel like it almost kind of tightens my skin a little bit. Not that I need any tightening, like I clearly don't have any wrinkles, <laughs> but I just feel like it really does kind of just bring everything in um, and really reinforces that plump appearance to my skin. So I love this. You guys know I have sworn by Urban Skin RX over the last year. I've been using them for a year straight. Um, and I'm just really now like showing you guys videos because I know for a fact that that is like my skincare right now. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. My, my skin is loving it. And when my skin is loving something, I stick with it. I don't like to switch up a lot, so. I also am almost done with, I literally have, I think I can make this stretch for two uses. The Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I actually have the smaller size of this. This one is 22. I wanna say the big one is 38, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get the big one when I get paid on Friday. This is an awesome makeup remover. Um, I have another makeup remover in here too that I'll talk about later, but this is the best balm that I've found. I'm very iffy with balms, and see, this is the thing. From an environmental standpoint, the ones that rinse off of your face cleanly aren't always that great for the environment because, um, what is the ingredient? I don't think the list is on here. Um, I can't think of the name of the ingredient off the top of my head. I'll list it if I think about it while I'm editing. But um, it actually is like a plastic derivative, so it's not very great for our oceans um, and our marine life. The issue is that things that don't rinse cleanly tend to break me out. They tend to stay on, on the skin even after I go in with a gel cleanser, which is usually what I do after I take off makeup. While this will get the rest of that residual makeup, I do prefer to go in with a gel cleanser so that I know that my pores are nice and clear. Um, this gets all of the makeup off. It gets off the strongest of my mascara. Um, my favorite mascara right now has been the Monsieur Big from Lancome, which is a really beautiful mascara, but it will stay on your lashes. Like you don't even need waterproof with that. This gets it off. <laughs> it gets off the heaviest of foundation, concealer, um, any brow products that you use. It gets it all off. So I absolutely love this cleansing balm. Um, I'm going to keep trying cleansing balms though because I feel like I should be able to find something that is a little bit more environmentally friendly. No, I'm not putting coconut oil on my face. I have done that, regretted it. We ain't doing that in here. We just, we ain't doing that in here. So <laughs> no, <laughs> um, but I love this makeup remover. It's, you know, it's kind of like a love-hate relationship ethically it's a hate and the rest of it is a love but we just we just gonna keep looking for stuff but I totally will repurchase this because so far um it's my favorite cleansing balm 
um, for removing makeup without breaking me out. I have gone through two bottles of the Ollie Undeniable Beauty for hair, skin, and nails. This one has vitamin C, E, biotin, and keratin. So I went through two of these. These are 60 count. Um, I really liked these. I felt like um, this really did... It kind of gave like a little bit of oomph to my skin. It also did help my nails as well. My nails did feel strong. Overall, my nails tend to be relatively strong, but especially like with my new job, I work with my hands more. Um, I have really been, uh, you know, kind of kind of ramping up on the, the biotin and the keratin just to kind of help with that as well, especially in this weird weather that we're in. Please excuse my dog. Y'all know I have yappers. <laughs> so I do enjoy this. I'm not taking it right now because I told you guys in my Black Friday haul that I planned on going back to the Myel gummies. So I'm taking those right now to see if I see a difference. And so far, I don't, but it's only been like two weeks. <laughs> so um, I wanted to go back on those for a little bit, kind of compare my results. You guys know I am a... Um, I am a journaler through and through when it comes to things that have to do, you know, internally. So I'm kind of taking notes on, you know, took notes on what I saw on that and taking notes on what I saw on those. Um, but I have the feeling just based on accessibility, I'll probably go back with the Ollie because I really do like those. And I have also been taking it in conjunction with the, the Perfect Women's Multi from Ollie. And this has vitamins A, C, D, E, Bs, biotin, and folic acid. So it has like your B12, B6, B7. So I've been taking this. Um, and I've been taking these gummies for years. And I absolutely love them. You guys know with my health issues, I take a lot of pills. So <laughs> if I can put things into my regimen that I don't have to swallow, then I will. I really enjoy these and I notice kind of the differences. I'm more sluggish, I'm a little bit more tired. I, I lack energy when I'm not taking these. Um, and these really do help for me too, considering that naturally I lack energy because of my endo. So this really helps too in terms of like going to the gym and working out and just having the spoons to do my day to day. So I really love these. I also used up the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution with lavender. I actually haven't been taking a lot of baths, but I've been doing a lot of foot soaks um, because I work on my feet a lot. I do a lot, I run around a lot. <laughs> So I like to come home and just add like a cup of this to my little Dr. Shows, Dr. Shoals foot soak thing. It has like the jets in it. Um, and I will just let that go and my feet feel great. So I love this one. I also love like the ones um, for like sore muscles that have like eucalyptus and things and make things feel extra warm and tingly. My brother and I used up the Dove Sensitive Skin Nourishing Body Wash, basic ass body wash. Nothing special, but always a repurchase because I mean, it's Dove Body Wash. He has sensitive skin, I don't. So he uses those more than I do because I do like to use like my smell good stuff. I spilled something in here and it's getting on my hands. Um, Also, this isn't completely empty, but it's as good as it's going to get. This is a Shea Moisture Fruit fruit Fusion Coconut Water Energizing Body Lotion with Embe Oil and Aloe. I don't even know if they sell this, make this. I don't know. I mean, does anyone know what Shea Moisture sells and makes anymore? Like, <laughs> um, I've had this for a very long time, and it's time for it to go. I've had this. God, I remember back in the day when I was just Shea Moisture through and through. Like, I had everything Shea Moisture. This is a good body lotion, um, but it the smell now really gets on my nerves. And it's just old. Like, it smells exactly the same, but it's just old. Um, and the smell will stick onto your skin, so if you don't like it, I used to love it then. For some reason, I really don't like it that much now, so... This one, it's time for her to go. She's had her moment. I've given her her shot and she's not gone by now. Oh well. Now this is a new favorite. Um, Back when they were doing their 60% off sale, 
I got the Main Choice Ancient Egyptian uh, Advanced Nourishing and Rejuvenating Body Wash and the Advanced Nourishing and Rejuvenating Oil and Lotion Fusion. So I got these together in a set and I wish I had gotten another set. This is amazing. I actually just went through these. So these lasted me a decent amount of time. Um, the body wash is very silky and I love the Ancient Egyptian fragrance. The Ancient Egyptian fragrance is like so good. Um, this body wash is super silky and makes a really nice foam. I like to, you know, foam this up in a loofah and I just go to town. This is so good, so satisfying. And then when you go and turn around and top it off with this oil and lotion fusion, um, first of all, this has amazing oils in it. It also has omega-3, 6, omega-9 as well. <sighs> Y'all, when I tell you, this will leave you with the glow of a body butter without the thick body butter feel. I love it because when you get it, like you can see the oil in it and you never really completely use up the oil. Like there's still some of that oil down there, but it, it perfectly mixes with the lotion and it just glides over your skin. It doesn't make you sticky. It doesn't make you greasy. So if you need something like if you are the type of person that always goes towards like a thick body butter, but you really need something that's going to just glide over your skin and nourish your skin but not going to give you those issues with like pulling your jeans up, putting your shirt on. You know what I mean? You know, if you love thick body butters, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, this is amazing. So I love the Ancient Egyptian Body Care. Definitely have to get myself some more because that stuff, <laughs> that stuff is popping. And the scent, I love the scent. The scent is so good, y'all. So I also used up the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Sleep Lavender and Cedarwood Body Cream. Y'all know, I love me some Bath & Body Works body creams. Um, This, I used to be head over heels for this fragrance, but it's not my favorite anymore. Um, It's still really good though. Like if you need just a standard, really good calming fragrance from Bath & Body Works, Sleep is a good one the lavender and cedarwood, but I, I really like the sage and cedarwood that they have out right now. I don't know if they're completely getting rid of it because right now it's on sale at SAS. Um, and I love that fragrance. Like it's so calming. There's a sweetness to it, but you get that like, that really nice, like comforting fragrance of the sage and it comes behind with the cedarwood. And it's every time I wear it, my mom is like, what are you wearing? <laughs> It smells so good. I love that one. Um, that one and the lavender and vanilla. Like, I love a good pure lavender fragrance. And I love that it's like lavender with just a dash of vanilla. So I love those two more than I love this one. So I think in the future, I probably won't be repurchasing this unless, you know, I stop using it. And I had this moment of like, I want this back. But I still have a little bit of the shower gel. Um, so... I'll finish that up, keep using what I have. If Because if you saw my, my vlog, you know I did a pretty decent haulage of um, Bath & Body Works aromatherapy. So I don't need to get any more Bath & Body Works aromatherapy right now. <laughs> Does that mean that I won't? Mm, we don't know. <laughs> Let's talk about some hair care. I used up two butter shampoos from Sultanicals. I used up My Baby, My Boo, Shea Yervedic. I love this stuff. It's so, it's just such a luxurious experience. Like, if you know the butter shampoos, then you know the butter shampoos. You know what I mean? Um, It just, the butter shampoos never cease to amaze me. Now, I will say, I showed you guys um, in my review on the Glide and Go Ayurvedic mask that the two that I purchased recently look very different. Um, and so I still need to contact AO and see if I could possibly get a replacement because they did not clean anything. Like, I think something was accidentally left out of the batch. Um, and that's like the first not so favorable experience I've had with Sultanical. So, I mean, it's not a big deal to me, but I do miss 
my my normal Shayurvedic. So I love this stuff. I also used up the Sprout Rice Vitamin Butter Shampoo with fermented rice grains, biotin, and MSM. I really like this one too, but I don't love it as much as the Shayurvedic. If I had to pick one, it would be Shayurvedic all day. The rice, it's nice. It's nice. It's a, it has a little bit more of a perfumey scent than that one. I would say that this one strengthens my hair a little bit more so I don't get as much moisture from it. So overall, I prefer the Shea Hervetic, but I feel like either way, if you're in the market to try a butter shampoo, just try one of them. Like they're both really great experiences. I still want to try the Coco Rasul and the Mega Greens butter shampoo. So whenever those come back, I will be trying those because I'm just a lover of the butter shampoos. Like they, they have my heart. <laughs> I actually went through a good amount of hair care. Um, this is the Camille Rose Nangai and Subaki Strength Restore Protein Treatment. Y'all know I fell for this stuff in 2019. I love the Nangai and Subaki treatment. The results for me are just instant. Like they just, and y'all saw in the video, they were literally instant. I really love this treatment. I need to go ahead and purchase another one. I'll probably purchase one more because I think these have gone on clearance at Sally. So I'm going to go to my local Sally soon. See if they have any left of these. I may purchase one or two more um, and then get a couple more when she does her World Natural Hair Show sale. But I highly suggest, suggest this if you're looking for a really good protein treatment. Um, this is not one of those moisture protein balancing like protein conditioners. This is like pure protein. It, it, it really reinforces it. I like to go in with the Oud Rich Moisture Infusion after doing this. And my hair is just as strong and buttery and beautiful. This is an amazing treatment, especially when you really need a reset. So she did that. Now this one is definitely more of that moisture protein balance. This is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. This is my last backup. I need to get more. Um, a lot of you guys asked me to do more on curls, and I will just say this. I was going to purchase a shit ton of stuff for Black Friday, a shit ton of stuff. And, um, I'm, I have a lot of, like, YouTube friends and natural hair Instagram friends. And so I realized that they were all getting $5 flat rate shipping, and I was having to pay damn near, damn near $11 for shipping. Now, I've never had to pay out the butt for shipping with curls. And when I asked about it, I was kind of given a bogus answer. And I just keep telling you guys, every time I try to support curls, they give me a reason not to buy their shit. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Like, I'm trying to give you my money. And you give me reasons not to give you my money, you know? So, I should have, what I should have done was just got more of this when they did the Sally's 50% off conditioners. Because this is one of those products um, from Curls that I love it so much that I will always buy it. Like, it's one of the most con consistent deep conditioners that I own. And I love this stuff. It just, it's so annoying that every time I go to buy something from her, there's always just some bull. Like, I just don't get it. And this is the thing. Y'all know... If it's a company, especially a small company that I trust and I love and I support, I will pay for your shipping. But when everyone else is getting $5 shipping, regardless of area, and the thing that killed me was that even if it had to do with accessibility, when my old Raleigh address was in there, it was more. So they're saying that it's based on location, but I'm like, why is everybody else getting $5 flat rate? So those of you who purchased from Curls on Black Friday, if you did, did you get $5 flat rate shipping? And if you didn't, did you get a bogus reason as to why? Um, it would be one thing. I was told that it was because of the holiday, but that doesn't make sense because everybody else is getting $5 flat rate shipping. Y'all see what I'm saying? So it just doesn't make sense. I've never had to pay that much money Um for shipping with a brand that is making that much money and is that established. It doesn't make sense. And I've never had to pay that much for shipping with curls in general. So why is it that all of a sudden my location is making that change? Because I was buying their products here and I was buying their products in Raleigh. 
and paying $5 flat rate shipping. It doesn't make any sense to me. But um, I love this mask. It's amazing. It's one of the most consistent deep conditioners that I own. It's just, there's just always some crap with curls. It's always some crap with curls. So I love that conditioner. I will always have that conditioner, but I just, I don't know, y'all. She, curls and Mahi should be getting on my nerves. <laughs> I also used up my She Scented Pomegranate Pear Styler, so I used up the Moisture Melt. This is the multifunctioning leave-in styler. I don't have to tell y'all how much I love this, but can we just talk about how this is the first bottle that I purchased? Y'all know how much I use this. That's how little of it I need to get a beautiful moisturized foundation. I love this stuff so much, and then I also went through another jar of my Oil & Gel Hair Pudding Touchable Hold Styling Gel. This is amazing if you're someone that likes that beautiful, bouncy, effortless look. This isn't going to be something for somebody who loves that like super duper strong, like eco styler, wet line extreme gel hold. It's not going to be that gel for you. So I, I know a lot of people have told me like, hey, you know, this is really light. And I'm like, yeah, I said that. Like I've been saying that. Like it's a light, it's a light gel. It's it's been a light gel. It's I've never said that it wasn't. <laughs> so, you know, I I try to give y'all all the deeds. I try to give y'all all the deeds. Um, so it is a light hold styling gel. It really does shape my curls and makes them feel beautiful. Um, and I will also reiterate that I have mentioned several times that this pairs the best with this. I don't go outside of that. The other she scented leave-ins, it don't work, it don't work. It works with this and this. Um, so I know a lot of people have told me, hey, this doesn't mix with anything. It mixes with this. So, um, they're sold together. They work the best together. So I highly suggest going that route. I also went through the main choice tropical moringa sweet oil and honey endless moisture mask. And I actually really like this, but I haven't, I have filmed, tried to film a video using this collection, like the full collection, like twice. And each time, something went wrong. And it had nothing to do with my hair. It was the actual, like, video filming situation. I love the smell of this. This is a very um, hydrating mask. It leaves a nice boost of hydration and moisture in the hair. Um, and it does leave my hair feeling very soft, too. If you are someone that is prone to over-moisturization, like your hair gets over-moisturized very quickly, be careful with Tropical Moringa because it is super duper moisturizing. So I only use um, like the full Tropical Moringa collection when my hair is very dry and very parched. Um, so I don't use this often, but like this in conjunction with the other products comes in really clutch when I need it. I really like this. I actually think I have like two backups of it. So I liked it enough to purchase it more um, so yeah, this is really good. If you need something that's just a really good hydration boost, this is popping. And I also used up their, uh, Pink Lemonade and Coconut 5-Minute Reviving Mask. And y'all know I love this mask. This still stands as my favorite main choice mask. I love it. It's amazing. Um, it is strengthening and fortifying it's amazing and it works in five minutes so i don't have to sit underneath my deep conditioning cap all night to get this to work so and then i also used up my do it for the cult do it for the culture untouchable definition and unmatched volume accomplished triple layer leave-in and y'all know i love this too this is a great leave-in. It works with a lot of different things in my collection it doesn't stand as my favorite but it is one that i love and I also have a backup of this. So I've already repurchased it. I've used this quite a few times on my channel over the last year. So she's popping. And then I also finished up the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Hair Mask. Um, this stands as like my one of my favorite drugstore deep conditioners. If you need a really good, just solid moisturizing deep conditioner from the drugstore, this one is really good. I really like this. I haven't tried much anything, much of anything else from Maui Moisture. I think I've used a vanilla bean conditioner, which I really enjoyed, and that's about it. <laughs> but I really love this mask. It doesn't beat out, like, my other higher-end products or my other, like, niche products. Like, this wouldn't beat out Unicurl. It wouldn't beat out Main Choice. It wouldn't beat out Camille Rose. 
but this is popping. If you need something, like if you're a natural on a budget, this is popping. So I love this. It's definitely something that I will repurchase. Me and my brother used up this toasted vanilla chai gentle exfoliating hand soap. I mean, it's hand soap. It was really good. It has those bees in it. Um, if you have sensitive skin, those bees probably wouldn't be like the most popping thing for you though. But I really like this and the scent was really nice. It's kind of just a basic vanilla fragrance with a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg thrown in. This is the other makeup remover I was talking about. This is the Pacifica Coconut Dissolve Cleansing Oil Rehab. Um, this is a really amazing cleansing oil. I get this at Target, but I haven't seen it there for a while. My Pacifica section is always really like hella cleaned out. But I love this. It's just hard for me to get my hands on. So this is a really good inexpensive one. If you can find it, I think I've seen some of them at Marshalls, but they've been like opened and messed with. Um, this easily gets makeup off as well. It doesn't bother my eyes. It doesn't clog my pores either. So I really like this one. Um, and it smells really good. So I love this cleansing oil as well. If you can find it, try it out because this is a beautiful formulation. I just wish I could get my hands on it more. I also used up the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy Overnight Balm. I have one of these. I, I empty at least two of these a year. I love this. Um, I've already repurchased it even though I think I got a bum one because it wasn't even halfway full. So I need to exchange it so I can start using this again. This is really nice because it's formulated to be used all over the eyelid area so I can put it everywhere. Sometimes I get kind of crepey in here and in here, um, especially in the winter time. But I love this all year round. I've been using this for three years now. So I love it. It's a consistent repurchase. It's, it's expensive, but I only have to buy two a year, so it's not that bad for me in retrospect. Um, I used up a Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. Um, I use this currently during the day. Um, now that it's cold outside and I do use this in the evening at night, I just mix this with a uh, um, facial oil just to kind of boost it for nighttime. Um, I love this stuff. It's a constant. I remember when I was going through it with my skin, struggling with moisturizers and I was like okay what was it that used to work all the time without question and it was always this so um belief belief makes good moisturizers um I do prefer the moisturizing balm though I'm not a huge fan of the aqua balm anymore because I have been using Sunday Riley title um but I'm always repurchasing this I'm like halfway through one now I'll buy another one when I finish that up I also showed Sunday Riley title and my skincare routine Y'all need to go watch that. I'm just saying, like, I dropped some knowledge and tips and great products in there. A lot of products that people don't really talk about. Um, but I love this. This is the Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. Um, this is a really nice, thin, but super duper hydrating and moisturizing cream. Perfect for the summertime. Has a really nice scent. This has papaya enzyme in it. So not only does it moisturize, but it also kind of helps to resurface as well. So if you struggle with hyperpigmentation, this is another um, really good product. Um, I know that there's been some drama with Sunday Riley. Um, and as much as it bothers me, if it works for my skin and doesn't hurt it, then I'm going to use it. So um, I love this water cream when the warmer months roll back around. I'm going to buy it again. I also went through the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. Um, I love this because it's made with colloidal oatmeal, so it's really soothing to the skin. If I ever have any sensitivity, this is great to use. First Aid Beauty formulates for sensitive skin, so that's another brand that I go to a lot if I'm having issues. I love this toner. It's just really hydrating. I don't like to use drying toners on my skin. Um, I feel like it just kind of defeats the purpose, so I have really been using more um, moisturizing, hydrating toners on my skin. And I've noticed that it has made a difference in terms of preventing dehydration. And I went through this little Oil Henriksen set. This came with a Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. And I basically only got this set because it also came with the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I love Banana Bright. I'm currently using the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. That's really, really nice. It's doing its job. But I love Banana Bright. So when I'm out of that, um, I'm going to get the full size of the Banana Bright. It's super moisturizing underneath the eye. It doesn't creep into my eye and cause irritation. And it leaves the most beautiful glow underneath your eyes. Just makes you look super awake and refreshed. 
love banana bright and i really like the sea rush gel crumb too um, i use this on days when i'm like not going anywhere um especially when i didn't want to use my sunday riley because it is expensive um but this is also good too on days where like i really need to just take a break from all of my um treatment products like my laa um my retinol my glycolic so i will use this because it does have some vitamin c in it but it's really moisturizing and rich and soothing i would not suggest this for the daytime if you're oily because it's going to make you oilier it's a very rich formulation both of these are really nice this is a potential repurchase it is so um this for sure is going to be repurchased this is a maybe but it definitely like really worked well with my skin which was shocking i have some lip products all from laneige I have the Lip Sleeping Mask in Vanilla. Also showed this in my skincare routine. I love the Lip Sleeping Mask. It's buttery, it's smooth. I have some on right now. It just makes my lips feel so good and hydrated. It smooths them out, super kissable. And when it, when it dissipates, my lips don't feel crusty and hard. You know what I mean? So I love this. And it stays on all night. I put it on when I go to bed and it's there when I wake up in the morning. And then I also went through two of my Laneige Lip Glowy Balms. I went through the peach and the pear. I love these. These are amazing lip balms. I have one everywhere I go. Um, you guys know I purchased the set. So right now I'm using the berry. But I also have another of the pear and another of the peach. So these are awesome lip balms to carry around. And this one has a little bit of tint to it. And the berry has a little tint to it. So. I love these. So you used up two Dove deodorants. I have the Advanced Care Shea Butter and just their regular fresh 24-hour invisible solid. I ended up getting this out of convenience, but this is the one that I love the most. Really moisturizing. Um, I started using this after I had that issue with those chemical burns on my armpits. So um, this is really moisturizing and I really like it. So I would repurchase it, even though I do want to try their Aluminum Free um, any purse brand. So I'm going to try that. I don't think I'm as scared to try out new deodorants now that I've gotten that situation taken care of because I was scared for a little while. <laughs> I used up the OGX Smoothing Coconut Coffee Body Wash. This is a really nice body wash. It smells amazing. It smells like coffee with like a dash of coconut milk. This smells so good. When I first got this, they didn't have the lotion, but now they do have the lotion. Me and my brother both used this up and we both loved it. Just made you smell like a beautiful treat. This is great to use in the morning if you're someone who just like really awakens at the smell of coffee. This is bomb. I also used up the Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. Um, I got this as my birthday gift for VIB and I went back to it because I used to use this, but now that I have my um, Even Tone Super Glow, I don't like this as much anymore. It's still good, but it just doesn't give me the same glow. The, the glow with this, a $79 serum does not compare to my $25 serum. Enough said. In terms of makeup, I finished up the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. And what was the shade? This was the shade Warm Honey. This has always been a great concealer, but I just have other concealers that I love more. Um, and that would be the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Uh, this is in the shade Dark 36. So I finished this up. I have another one um, in my collection because when I ordered this, they accidentally sent it. To it was just a hot mess. Like they sent me somebody else's package and then they resent my package and then the actual package that they sent the first time that was supposed to come to me showed up. Um, so I had doubles of everything and this was in there. Thankfully, I love this. So this is a dope concealer. I think they changed the packaging a little bit. Like I think the actual component is frosted now, but it's all good. I love this concealer. It's, I use it to brighten underneath my eyes and it has really great coverage. Um, really creamy formulation. It blends out with any tool that I go in with. And I also used up um, this sample of the Milk Hydrogate Primer. Y'all, this primer, this is one of those like kind of moisturizing or hydrating primers that really settles in and really grips the makeup. I get no transfer when I have this primer on. It also makes my skin feel beautiful. 
Um, the formulation of this is amazing and the, the longevity of my makeup when I'm using this is amazing. So I loved it so much that I actually just repurchased it and it's right here. So I have a full size of this now. I was going to get like the smaller one and I was like, look, I love this. Like I was literally trying to crack that little guy open to get the rest of it. So now I have a full size. I love the look of it. I love the texture and the formulation. I need to do some more makeup videos. So um, I love this. It's so good um, and it mixes really well with my other foundations. It's a dope primer. If you haven't tried out Milk Hydro Grip, it's really great. Um, and for someone that does have skin that can be on the sensitive side, that one is dope. I just have candles. So I went through Blueberry Pie. The notes on this are Juicy Blueberry, Slaky Crust, and Sugar Crystals. I love this candle. If you watched my um, holiday vlog, then you know that I bought another one of this. The only thing about this candle in particular was that it burned really hot. Like y'all can, <laughs> it didn't matter how much I trimmed those wicks, this thing burned so hot and it sooted like crazy. Um, so eventually I was just afraid to light it anymore. But the fragrance is amazing. It smells like a fresh blueberry pie out the oven. So I have another one. Hopefully it won't burn so hot that I'm afraid to burn it. And I went through two of my favorite, the pistachio ice cream. I have, this is the last of my um, packaging from last Christmas. And the Geo, this is pistachio ice cream. So, and the notes on this are roasted pistachio, almond extract, and vanilla extract. A lot of y'all said I put y'all onto this. It's so good. I love this. It literally smells like, your room will just smell like an ice cream parlor, just full of pistachio ice cream. It's so good. I love that you can smell the roasted nature of the pistachio. You get the creaminess of the almond and then that vanilla comes in and really makes it creamy. It smells like you just stuck your head in a bowl of vanilla ice cream. So I love that candle. I went through two of them. I burned pistachio ice cream a lot recently. Um, I've been burning a lot of different candles right now. I'm burning apple, cardamom, and crisp. That one is so good. It's delicious. Um, but this is the candle that I go to whenever I don't know what to burn because it's just a no-brainer. This one was that god-awful Mother's Day packaging. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have this. I just, when I burn it, I turn it around because this, I'm the best cat mom ever, but this is hideous. So, yeah, I went through two of those. And those are my empties. Um, I went through a lot of stuff. I went through a lot of stuff. I feel like I had a lot of um, skincare and body care. That's really what I've really been like just going in on right now because I'm all about moisture. I want the moisture. I want my skin to be decadent. I want everything just beautiful, glowy from head to toe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, have you guys really been getting through your trash and your stash? I feel like I got more through more of my body care stash, but I have a whole lot of stuff that's about to be in this empties bin for hair care too. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys are getting through your stashes so you can enjoy, you know, your products and getting more. I have a lot of new things coming in. I did purchase melanin hair care, so that's going to be up whenever that comes in. I'm really excited to showcase that on the channel because I really do support Whitney. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned for more hair videos, more things to come. We're going to be talking about a lot in 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.